Hey guys, what's going on? Stormrider36 here, and today we are back with more Overwatch, and today I'm actually playing as Reinhardt on uh, Nepal. Now, Nepal is a different map, it's a King of the Hill map, but that's not the whole point of this. The whole point of this is to really drill into people's heads to never give up when we're playing this game, because you're going to see here we have a comeback victory in this first round, and it's really important, because we kept going for the point. We kept going, kept going, kept going. It doesn't matter how well the other team is doing. You could still win. You could still, you know, get on that point. You could still, you know, make plays that'll change the entire, the entirety of the round for your team and for theirs. So that's really what I want to talk about because all too often I see people, you know, give up, surrender, you know, leave a game because they're losing. It's... It's not what you should do, because that's pretty much running away from a problem. It's pretty much, you know, leaving a hole in the wall at your house until, like, the next day, because you don't feel like dealing with it right now. It, you know, it doesn't help anything. <laughs> now, by this I don't mean, uh, a hole, like, to the outside, you like a hole in an interior wall, you know, it's something that's, like, not totally a problem, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you could leave a game. Uh, if you have to leave because, you know, you have to go somewhere because, you know, something happened or because you have to, you get kicked for an activity because something happened and you left, you know, that those are all fine. I'm talking about when you just leave the game out of anger, out of rage, out of disappointment, out of any other emotion that caused you to just quit playing, you know, give up on your team, give up on the game, and, you know, really just, you know, seal the win for the other team. That means they broke you if you leave the game early. It means that you've been broken by that enemy team, and, you know, really, that's, you know, it's mental. It's a real mental thing. Well, now, some people may not even bat an eye at whenever they leave a game, but me, I personally, since, I think, I want to say, Modern Warfare 2, have never rage quit a game because of the fact that I started getting pride in being the guy to do really well when uh, my team was losing. I took pride in trying to lead the comeback, you know. I took pride in, you know, sticking it out, being tough, being the only one left on the team. You know, it's like, yeah, I was getting my ass handed to me, but, you know, I stayed. I decided to fight it out. I decided to, you know, let this go on my record because, you know, it's something I put time into. So it's worth it, you know? And you don't learn by leaving a game. What do you learn by leaving a game? Oh, I just said nothing. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you literally... You, I mean, you learn how to run away from problems, so I guess you learn something. But, you know, in the very end of it, you don't learn anything. You just prolong a problem that you have to face losing. You're never gonna win 100% of the time. Leaving, technically, no, you didn't lose. You can use that excuse all you want, but eventually you will lose. Otherwise, you will leave a majority of the games that you play. Now, there's the famous quote, you miss every shot you don't take. Now, that's not like, directly correlated to this, but it has some meaning to it. If you don't stick out that fight, you're missing out on an opportunity, opportunity to grow, opportunity to learn, opportunity to become a bigger person, bigger, better person, a more mature person, you know? You miss out on opportunities that you really should take. Now, I, this is a whole personal thing for me because I did have a lack of commitment in high school. I wouldn't keep commitments. I would say, yeah, I'll do this, then back out at the last minute, and you know, all that. And you know, that that was my offer too. That was like, I didn't learn anything, but then I started to keep my commitments after I started saying, you know, I'm not going to rage quit because that means that the enemy team has made it so that I don't feel comfortable playing this game, I don't feel comfortable, you know, being on the map that I'm on, but I know I am and I know I can do well. I know my skill level and right now I'm not showing it, so I st stick it out. You know, when it comes to Destiny Iron Banner, you know, I'm usually getting my ass handed to me, but... I stick it through, still try to kill people, you know. When I get shot in the face with a shotgun, I don't rage quit, I don't quit Destiny multiplayer, I stick it out, I keep playing, keep going. You know, just keep it, keep it high, keep, keep your emotions 
under control, I guess I should say, because, you know, you don't want to contain them. You want to express them. If you get frustrated, express that emotion. But, you know, you need to realize that during the game, you have to remain calm, remain in the in the uh, mindset of the game, because if you don't, again, you're letting the other team get to you, and you're letting the other team break you. Now, this is a lesson I've actually learned throughout my life, and it's really only taken effect now that I've, like, gotten older. So ever since I was younger, my dad coached me in basketball, and in basketball, they would always use the term, break their spirit, and that was generally put when, you know, we were up in a basketball game to, we were winning by a good amount of points, but, you know, the, the other team was still trying and everything. Then it came down to break their spirit, which means keep playing at your peak. Don't give up. Don't, you know, slack off because you're winning and you think you've already won. But you have to play to your fullest potential the entire game. Because then the other team will become discouraged and then you have won. That's when you win. Not when the game buzzer ends. Not when the buzzer goes off. You know, not when the final shot is put up. When you break the other team's spirit is when you win. You know, and that's the hard part, is that, you know, some people are not strong enough to keep their uh, head level when they're playing the game. And I'm, I'm not excluding myself from this bracket. I have lost my cool a couple of times. I have, you know, quit. I've done all this stuff. But now that I'm older, it didn't help me, looking back on it. Whenever I quit... You know, it was literally to avoid the problem that I faced later on. Uh, whenever I would leave a Mario Kart 2 game, I would still come up in those situations where the other team is spawn camping us, but, you know, if I leave, it's just going to happen to me again. Then I started to try to learn how to break it, how to fight back against it, and that's when, you know, I started seeing these changes in me uh, in real life, too. And it's quite it's quite amazing what a small change like not leaving a game of multiplayer can make in your actual life because now that i don't leave games multiplayer i don't stop things until they're finished i don't you know if i'm building something i don't stop building it and then come back to it i finish that no matter how long it takes when i'm cleaning i clean everything until you know i'm done it really does help out i don't start a project and then finish it later i usually set aside a couple of hours to just pound it out just do the project and you know it works it works it seriously works and uh you know it's more or less just the fact that you know it's changed me i've had a lot of trouble with commitment i said i said that before but you know i'm starting to get better at it i'm starting to be able to actually you know keep commitments do things on a schedule. YouTube I've been doing every day for a couple of months, so that's something I've kept my commitment with. Uh, I have chores around my house that I've been keeping up with. I have schoolwork that I keep up with. You know, it's it's a really good personality change. It's not just a video game mentality. Now, some people may look at this and be like, I can leave if I want, and that is so totally true. If that's what you do, you can leave, but I'm gonna tell you if you start to stay in games, start to tough it out, start to realize if you're losing, but you're not the one leaving, you are the stronger player on your team, even if you're the one at the bottom of the team, if that top player leaves on your team because you're losing, they are weaker than you are, because yeah, yeah, sure, they're better than you at the video game, but in real life, your personality will grow while theirs will stay the same. You'll be able to play a sport, a pickup sport with friends, and be able to lose and be and laugh it off and be like, yeah, that's fine, I lost. I'm happy. My friends won, you know? I still don't like it when the enemy team wins. That's never going to change because that's just competitive nature. But the fact that I can, you know, lose to a team that's very good and be like, yeah, they were good, I didn't play very well. You know, it changes your whole perspective on multiplayer and your whole perspective on games in general. You know what I mean? It uh, it really hits home. For me, anyway. I don't know. Maybe you guys already knew this and I'm a little late to the party. I don't know. 
But I, you know, I really wanted to share this. This was on my mind because I played an Iron Banner match earlier today where the entire enemy team pretty much gave us the win because they kept leaving because we were playing very well. And you know, that's never, I mean, yeah, I won. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel right because of the fact that it was more or less given to me. But you know, this is all just personal opinion. This is all just the ramblings of a 19 year old kid on YouTube who wanted to share this, who wants to try and change the gaming community from one that, you know, kind of uh, is a little aggressive to one that, you know, where everybody is equal and everybody likes each other and everybody isn't mean to each other, you know? I would like to change it and I'm trying to, but, you know, until I reach a bigger audience, it's not going to. But I'm going to keep trying because if you give up, it's not going to change. But that's all the time I have. I hope you did enjoy this Reinhardt gameplay. It was mediocre gameplay, but it's about the winning factor is why I posted it. So that's really all I have to say. Like I said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And this has been Stormrider36, and I'll see you all in the next one.